Now, I post this video as a reminder in regards to the importance of keeping yourself low, L-O-W, being humble in the Lord each and every day, the importance of that. Understanding that although we hold significance as image bearers of God, the truth is we are not great. Everything we have and everything we have graciously received is from God. And the scary thing is that that same God can and will take away. 1 Peter 5, 6, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he will exalt you. Now, the clip that I'm about to play of Vodi is important, and it's a clip that I've used often for myself because it, what it does is it helps recenter my focus on God rather than self. The gospel is also a God-centered gospel, not a man-centered gospel. The gospel doesn't begin with man. The gospel begins with God. Amen? The way some people talk about the gospel, it is as though, you know, the world just sprang up spontaneously and God's out there one day and he goes, wow, this is an amazing world. I wonder where it came from. Look at these unbelievable people. They're awesome. They need someone to save them. They are so incredible. I think I will volunteer. The way some people talk about the gospel, that's what you would think. That we were just these awesome, incredible people that God stumbled upon someday. And it's a completely and utterly man-centered God. God loves you so much. He just needs you. He just wants you so bad. Can I just help you with that? God doesn't need you. God doesn't need you. In fact, if God were to need anything, that would mean that there was something lacking in God. And if there's something lacking in God, he ain't God. God needs nothing. By definition, God needs nothing because God lacks nothing. God does not need you. And he's going to prove it. Because you're going to die, and the world's going to keep spinning. Everything's going to keep going, just like it was going before. Because God does not need you. Now, before you go feeling bad about yourself. <laughs> God didn't need, why, 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 why did I get up this morning if God didn't need? This is the beauty of the gospel. This is the beauty of the gospel, that in spite of the fact that God does not need us, he redeems 